All right, guys, it's 7.50 in the morning, and I got on Rakuten on my phone to check when I was going to be getting some cash back from them, and I'm going to be getting that in August, but what I saw when I got on the main page was they're offering 12% cash back at Nike and 2% at Raise.com. So what I did was I went on to Nike, and I went to Men's, went to Sale, and I found a pair of Jordans, so let's see this. We got these Jordan 1 mids. I don't really like mids, but I don't really care if I'm making money on them. So on Nike, they're $100 plus tax would make it 107 minus the 12% would make it 95 minus the 2% from raise would bring that down to 93 minus the 2% cash back I'd get with my credit card, would bring it down another $2 to 91 plus if I buy a gift card from raise I might get 9% off, so I have to check. 10% off at Nike. Okay, the 10% off gift cards are only worth $5 each, so I'm going to have to buy a 2% off gift card since that's $50, but I could buy a couple of those 10% ones. I just don't know how many gift cards Nike will let you use, which is why I don't want to just order those and then do that. But I think Nike will let you use like five or something, so... All right, so I secured two pairs, and it's a limit one per order, so I had to place two separate orders, and that's why I only place two orders since... It's kind of a hassle to keep placing separate orders, but there should be a decent profit, and I kind of want to look at Adidas since they're also offering 8% cash back, plus Ray's is selling $50 gift cards for $45, which is a pretty solid discount. So I might look at Adidas later, but we're going to get that shipment of books done first, so right now it's 8 a.m., we're going to have breakfast, and then we'll get to the shipment. All right, it's like 8.30 right now. I just had breakfast, and we're going to grind out the books for two hours and then I'm gonna take a break and check back in with you guys. been just about two hours now and I've got I think at least half of the books listed right now so we take a look at the shipment we've got five different books 27 total units average rank is 200k which isn't too bad right now that's gonna go down since right now these books aren't in their peak selling time so these are all college textbooks so or not all college textbooks there's a couple high school textbooks but they should spike the sales rank should go down a lot and the price should come up within the next month, month and a half. So we've got 888 invested in these 27 books. Total revenue from these books, if they sell at the listed price, is $1,600, and my total net profit on that is 256, which isn't a huge margin. It's a 16% profit margin, but for the amount of work I had to do, that's not that bad. These were really easy to find since I just reordered these based on previous sales and what I had in stock, and then I mean, packing them, I've been packing these maybe like half an hour yesterday and then two hours today. So two and a half hours for 250 bucks is not too shabby. So I'm going to take a break, come back at 1130 and we'll get back to this. Maybe we'll get it done before I eat lunch at 130. So that'd be nice. All right, it's 4.04 p.m. right now. I'm going to wrap up the shipment here. We're at 15 different books, 100 total units. Total revenue, $4,500. Total buy cost for all the books, all 100, is $2,348. And my net profit is going to be 570 So our profit margin is now at 12.68%. So like I said, it's pretty low, but for the amount of work I've done, that's not that bad considering I've done about like six or seven hours on the shipment and 570 profit that's almost a hundred dollars per hour which is pretty great in my opinion so we're gonna get this boxed up right now 
I do have like 10 books that didn't get added, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do that since there's some serious de-stickering I need to do. So with Inventory Lab, you press Review Batch and then it'll let you review the items in the batch and then you would press next and it'll show you what the splits would be. So I just saw that there would be three splits. I don't want any splits, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change the quantity of each book to one and then after I create the shipment, I'll just change it back except for the items that I have more than 18 units. So if you have 18 or more units of an item, it will all go to the same fulfillment center, that item. But if you have items like, if you have two or three, those will get split. So make all of those one, and then you can actually change it after, and there's no like penalty for that, anything like that. Make sure you're not changing it, like the quantity by a ton, there is a limit. So if you go and look at it on Seller Central, you'll see, when you click on the individual shipment, you'll see a heading somewhere like at the top, I think, that says you can change the shipment quantities by 5% or 10 units, something like that. Alright, so all the books are going to my local fulfillment center, which is two hours away. So these should be received sometime next week. I'm going to go in and change the quantities now. Alright, so I put everything back to the right quantities and we have 100 books in the shipment. So I'm going to grab some boxes and we're going to finish this. 4.09 p.m. right now. Try to get this out by 4.30. Alright guys, so it's almost 8.30 right now. We dropped off the shipment and then I basically just spent the rest of the day relaxing. So it was a super productive day. I did like eight hours of productive working on the business. So probably the most productive day of this month, honestly, except the days I edited like the June income review. But yeah, solid, solid day. I finally feel like business is getting back where it needs to be. So we're going to be sourcing tomorrow online, of course. I'm not going to stores gonna be doing some tactical arbitrage so stay tuned for that vlog but yeah i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so if you made it this far i really appreciate it thank you for watching if you missed yesterday's vlog it's gonna be linked at the end of the video and in the description below I'm not really sure why i looked over there but if you're not following me on tiktok and instagram make sure you do that so you don't miss my other content at sanjay suresh tms and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss tomorrow's vlog and until tomorrow's vlog bye guys my local fulfillment local fulfillments